Hey, and welcome back to another video on House of M4, The New Order, a mod that depicts what would have happened if Germany had won World War II. And as you can see from the corner here, we can see that there's a new update, which is Cutting Room Floor. Uh, cutting Room Floor is an update which brings many new paths to the mod, including Hydrix Germany, which previously just nuked everything. That's literally all he did before the update. But now he actually gets a few years of content. Also, a lot of you have been recommending it in the comment section as well. So today, I'm going to play as Reinhard Hydrix Germany. So like last time, I'm just going to do the man on the moon. Oh, and we've just landed on the moon, the final frontier. And now we get the blonde beast. There is no problem, which the Gestapo cannot solve. And oh no, assassin strikes at the Führer, which means Hitler needs to address the nation and choose a successor. And we're going to choose the butcher, Reinhard Heydrich. The beginning of the end. The clock ticked past its mark, and within the second the phone rang, two seconds later and Heydrich pressed it to his ear, where the greatest patron of Germany's future relayed his words. Congratulations, Mein Schiller. It is time. And now we unlock the power struggle, and we can see here that Hitler's health progressively gets worse. And here's our number of influence. Using the influence, we can do these decisions, which can get us all types of benefit in the German Civil War. And now we have a new focus tree for Heydrich, uh, which basically increases our influence. I reaffirm the capability of my appointed successor, Heydrich Meinführer. The capability of my appointed successor, Heydrich, as the Führer in what will be my last and most unfortunate absence. The man has served me loyalty and will continue to serve the Reich. The man is not only a vanguard of the Aryan race, but a true enemy of the Jews the world over. Thank you everybody, thank you. Where I thank you. Well, at least we got that second endorsement. And Hitler has entered a coma. Looks like the death is near for Adolf Hitler. Rubicon. By the order of the Führer, the Reichstag is to be dissolved effective immediately. Sacrifices to be made. Oberschafführer Blücher was three minutes late as Heydrich's watch told him. Something simply unacceptable for an officer of his SS. Zikai! You have orders, Oberschafführer. One given to us by our benefactor to the West. Give me the order here, Heydrich. I, I apologize for my tardiness. I was kept by my duties. One of my men was... Enough, Heydrich answered. I smell the stench of cigarettes, unbecoming of a national social smell, and especially of a member of the SS. It does not matter, however. You will make up for it soon. He raised one hand, and the guard by the door shot Oberscher Führer Blücher in the back of the head. Your sacrifice for the greater good will be all the redemption you need. The hawk sinks. Six hours, 14 minutes and 43 seconds ago, a body had been found in an alley, his men told him. Forty after and word had leaked that he had been murdered by a young firm not man named Hans Freistick. The Reichstag predictively fell into chaos and condemned the firm not for the murder. An hour and 11 minutes ago, Koblenz burned, and as the clock passed midday, Heydrich knew that so too would Germany. Like ants, they swarm. In Koblenz and Nuremberg, and Munich and Jena, and Chemnitz and Waren, the world burned. SS men exacted bloody revenge, Firmnack did in kind, the people were just caught in the middle. Soon as days were crossed off, and hours and minutes dutifully lurched forward, the world would change. They crawl into the dark, from which a new dawn will rise. And now Hitler has died. Farewell, mein Führer and slowly troops are moving to their side of the country. Can we agree on nothing? And Heydrich rises up. Let them know fear as we bring forth a new day. Sperians rise up. 
Gurdon rises up, and Borman breaks away. Our ego has fallen. Gott hilf uns. And so it begins. The German Civil War. The end of the Reich, surely. Uh, so Heydrich is actually uh, the most challenging side of the German Civil War, I'd say, because Heydrich actually starts off with the least amount of divisions and the least amount of land. But because I did a lot of those influence decisions, I got like 26 uh, extra divisions, which puts us in a position that's not really that bad. Either way though, this is going to be a more challenging civil war than our current playthrough. So now we're going to choose the Faffen SS. And I think our plan for now would be just to push up the Rhine. Since if we push too far into Speer, uh, the other countries can form the anti hydric pack, uh, which is not a good thing. Okay, we've got a pretty nice encirclement here. And now that we've secured the Rhine, I think I'm going to try to push Speer, but at the same time, not gain enough land to trigger the anti hydric pack. Borman is just attacking across all fronts, but at least we have this huge encirclement of Speer's divisions. And Speer has been capitulated. No one made a sound. I don't know if this is big enough for the anti hydric pack to form, but I really hope not since that is, that's going to be really bad news for us. And since Goering is currently attacking Borman, Borman's troops here are very thin. I'll try to see if I could push him. Oh, and that's a pretty thick encirclement. Okay, Borman's lines are just completely breaking. Okay, they're attacking us at both sides. And as you can see, there's a lot of red. This is potentially really bad for us. Uh, we need to defeat Borman as soon as possible and focus all our strength from Goering. Is Borman on his last legs? And Borman has been defeated, breaking the status quo. Where's Martin Borman? Heydrich asked calmly. I don't know, the naked man screamed. Von Schirach was not lying. He had suffered far worse at the hands of the SS torturers before Heydrich had even entered the building. Had Borman fled the country? Was he hiding in an underground bunker or lying dead under heaps of debris? He would never stop hunting for that gross teak dwarf. He leaves behind a legacy of rats and rubble. And now we only have Göring left to defeat. And Göring actually pushed deep into my territory. But now that Borman has been defeated, uh, Göring has only approximately the same divisions that I do. And I only capitulate when I have 0% of my victory points. So I think for now, I can slowly move to defeat Göring. Now after a few nice encirclements, I think Göring is quite weak at this point. So I'm going to try an all-out attack to see what happens.
and now with defeated Göring's Germany. The victor will always be the judge and the vanquished, the accused. Clipping the wings, Göring's corpse sways it gently in the breeze, the dry blood staining its clothing like a dark crimson. The sins of the father are the sins of them all. Spiedel refuses surrender, the Führer will fix that. The strongest shall survive. Considering they only have 16 to 20 divisions, they're actually not doing that badly. But we have taken Germania and is that enough to capitulate them? Yes it is, and triumph of the will. Heidrich didn't smile when Spieder was brought before him, but he knew his joy would shine through in his eyes no matter how hard he tried to keep his face still. Lost just capsule, couldn't quite bite through, Heidrich asked. I won't die a coward's death, hangman. When the sons and daughters of Germany come after you, I doubt you'll say the same. The sons and daughters of Germany, Heydrich said wistfully. Capture anyone still when they're alive and put them all away. A black sun dance. Heydrich is victorious. International and domestic news media today captured the defining moment of a generation of Germans. Reinhard Heydrich riding into a ruined Germania, Nazi salute in one hand surrounded by legions of his loyal SS troops along his guest speaker on a state visit, Heinrich Himmler. As anthems of the SS and the National Socialist State played thunderously, Heydrich commanded his troops to form walls in front of the Volkshalle while he took the podium behind them. In the following speech, Heydrich emphasized how his new order would restore the Aryan blood and return the ideals that made our Reich the strongest to us, among other statements from the Butcher of Prague. Soon after, Heinrich Himmler began his speech, declaring German-Burgundian relations restored with an alliance to destroy degeneracy where it stands, among other things. Heil Heydrich. And so we won the German Civil War here is where the fun begins.